Oh my god. I can't go on. Do we must see? end this you, interview. Do you see that? Everybody it's... knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your heroes out of here now! How are you? How are you, yourself? I'm good, thank you. Good shoes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. Oh, cool. Nice shoes yourself. Appreciate it. Spiffy. Not me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look cool as well, Jake. It's lovely to talk to you both about ambulance. I feel like you guys need to set up your own driving school now. Yeah, I should set up my own driving school, right? What did you say? Nothing. Okay. I didn't say anything. Okay. Jake disagrees. Uh, that's that. Yeah, I saw that. I just I still. That. I think you should stick to acting. And not and not and not and not and not driving. I don't even have to do it. it doesn't have to be ambulance school. I think you're a school. good driver. Be... I think you're a good driver. I just don't know. After it's the a first time that he said after that. one check the tapes one one lesson in driving an ambulance, that you should be teaching your driving <laughs> school. <laughs> Are you saying you got car sick then? No, 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 not car sick. I I I have safety first kind of driver. Say it with your chest. You know? Come on, come on, Jake. I I preferred his stunt driver. That's fair enough. Safety first. Safety first. But wouldn't it be bad if I was like, you know, I preferred acting with your stunt driver, I'm yeah. driving with you? Yeah, that would be, that, <laughs> yeah, that'd, yeah, that'd be something. The interview that'd would be, be over. No. <laughs> and the heist that Danny orchestrates in this is wild. If you guys were to pull off your own heist with some of the previous characters you've played, who would do what? Who'd be the lookout? Who'd be the driver? Who'd oh, be the of them. Oh, none of mine. It'd right. be too easy to say, like, maybe Dr. Manhattan, because he could... Do it all. Just make it happen. So that'd be that'd be boring. Yeah. Plus, you get no drama with that. So uh, I don't know. Maybe Sergeant Ellerby from Baywatch, or something like that. And he'd just be that'd be a very clumsy heist. That'd be the most fun. Bubble Boy, keep watch. <laughs> <laughs> the Prince of Persia. <laughs> Yo, would, time out. Time out. Time it. out. No, that time out. Bro, you were in Bubble Boy. You were Bubble Boy. I thank you that's for the dope. reminder. No, I, the, that's the, dope. That, it just, it, that just flashed back and so, just happened just now. But think about it. Think about it, this team. So Bubble Boy, keep watch. But the Prince of Persia would, would, rob, the, <laughs> would rob the bank. <laughs> and um, let me think it through. I guess, like, Lou Bloom would drive. Yo. And, oh, this is already, this is already, this is already, like, a terrible group. This is this is this is this is already ambulance two, or maybe a prequel or something. This is like talk about a heist gone wrong. I would watch this movie. Who I'm telling the, you. Who would direct it? I, I don't even know if it'd be possible. Right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Michael may want this. You never know. It could happen. <laughs> um, I love how Danny and Will stick on sailing during the police chase to help them breathe. What are your go-to karaoke songs? Prince. I uh, do not kiss. karaoke. You don't karaoke. I don't. Not, not even not even privately. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I karaoke. Kiss. Yeah. Don't have to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a good karaoke song. Yeah, because you can. You don't have to sound great, you know, but you can surprise yourself in the audience and sound great. People know the song. They love Sing it. It's along. a nice little jam. Yeah. Jake, I feel like you're secretly really good at karaoke. I'm not good at karaoke. I I. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you why he won't like he, why he won't because he'd get so into it. I think you'd be like the type of karaoke where like, you get, get right. deep, right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> deep into it. The, like the, the, the shirts come off. And you have under. You have you keep. You won't go magic mic, but like oh, okay. the, the top shirt will come off. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, I like go to um, like the songs I like are not great ones to sing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They're not like. Listen, I'm not your classic karaoke. -er. What do you? What do you? What are your songs? Okay, you might think this is a bit of a weird one, but I think Mambo Italiano. Bet Midler. Oh, that's very good. Chef's kiss. I think that that's a very, okay. very good choice. I think that's a very good choice. Yeah, you see, that's the thing is the strategy of picking a song. There's definitely is, It is. There's a huge thing because you're like, oh, I'm going to sing, you know, um, Sweet Child of Mine. You know what I mean? And then you're like seven verses in. It's like a 45-minute long song. Everyone's already upset with you that you're still singing yeah. the song. You're bored because you're not nearly as good as Axl Rose could. You know, you can't do any of that. I feel you, it's the pressure. But the first guitar lines are great, and then all of a sudden you're like singing it, and you're like, oh no, this is long. And then the bubble's going through, and it's, and then yeah. it's you know what I mean? Some songs are great songs, but not great karaoke exactly. songs. Exactly. 32 million, and I need an extra man. I came to you for a loan. Look, have I ever gotten you anything that I couldn't get you out of? It's time for you to do something for your family. Despite being brothers, Will and Danny are so different. Out of the two of you, who's the more responsible one? <laughs> I think we're actually both responsible people, I'd say. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah. Yeah. Someone asked us earlier, like, what is what would what do you do at home that what is what's the most like it wasn't like what's the most exciting most interesting most thing inter- you do and I say boring. Yeah, what is it what is it like pretty being being with you us. at home boring? Yeah. I, I think we're both pretty uh, yeah. Yeah I, yeah, I like it. Except for when you drive. I have to warn I have to warn people about 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 me sometimes. I have to let's say look, you know I'm I'm boring. I just want you to know that you I'm You don't have to warn anybody. They all know it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you walked right in. You know you walked right into that. There's no I mean like you can't it's we're getting towards the end of the day so it's like, you know, that was the air just going. Yes. What can I do you for, officer? We're just doing a transfer in the back. I'll let uh, you in in 20 minutes. Uh, if I could just get it done real quick, because I'm on the clock. Promise not to rob the place. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, because that would be bad for my job. <laughs> I promise. All right, okay. All right. All okay. Right, come All on. Right. Your characters are so fearless. Do you guys have any irrational fears? I will never share them. Mm-hmm. But, the, <laughs> but the essence, yes. But I'm not sharing. Because as soon as I share... Someone's gonna use it against me. And it's gonna be that man right next to you. No. No, I wouldn't. No. no, he wouldn't do that. No, he wouldn't do that. Oh, I, I, okay, I, okay. I'll, I'll share one. Uh, paper cuts on my eye. Oh God. On my eyeball. Oh. I was That's not prepared not a for that. That's fear. That's a rational fear. But it makes that me afraid. That is very of, rational. But it makes me afraid that of paper. <laughs> that's the thing. Oh, but, okay, that's, well, that's the thing. Well, I'm afraid of single sheets of paper. Oh my God. I can't go on. We you must see? end this you, interview. Do you see that? It's not oh so. It's God. irrational because when and why, but it's rational no, but because it's, it's totally real. rational because that's terrible. Right. Oh. Don't I, so single sheets of paper. I will stay well away. I've got a notepad with me. Oh, okay. Well away. Oh, I'm. A, oh, that's that's first thing I check Oof. for when you walk through the door. So it's my weapon. <laughs> How about for you, Jake? Is there anything that you're you're frightened of? Anything that I'm, anything that I'm frightened of. <laughs> Is that the question? Is it any change? irrational fears? Irrational fears. <sighs> you know, I I get I get. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like mice running around the house. You know what I mean? Like it's not that I I don't know if it's ir- irrational. I think it's somewhere, but it's sort of it's like think about it. It's like a mouse. It's not like it's what's that? Why are you scared of that? Right? But there is like a little bit of a like, because every time I've ever seen a mouse in a house, I always go like ah! like that. And it's, that must be irrational, right? Like, dude, that's my that's my fear. That's the. <laughs> They're quite cute, but, you but I'm not like the funny part of it is, is I'm not really afraid of them. But then why do I do that when I see one? That's what I mean, you know. When you see one, what I'm saying is like I am frozen right now, bro. <laughs> like, why am I whispering right now? Is that really a thing? Yes, I can feel it. The entire left side. I of might my, use it again. See, actually. you see what I'm saying? The entire left side of my body right now. <laughs> Does your wife know you're up, Banks? We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get old. Will has to lie to his wife in this Mm -hmm. um, in order, like he says that he's going for a job interview when he's not. Did you guys ever used to lie about any skills you had in order to get a job when you were younger? Oh yeah, I like got like a busboy job saying I knew about restaurants. I got a sous chef job saying I knew how to cook. I mean, I, I, I got an actor, not an acting jobs, <laughs> pretending yeah, like I yeah, got most an act. Things, right, right, <laughs> still get them, <laughs> still get them. Pretty much every single one of them. Um, uh, yeah, I can do that. What yeah. else? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I can figure that out. Acting? Everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> the truth is... Uh... No. He's so good. I don't have any specific examples, but when I check my jobs, I'm sure I've said that I can. I was capable of doing some things that I hadn't done before. But the I, one common thing that actors do is they say they can ride a horse when they can't ride a horse. <laughs> that happens a lot. I've heard a lot of stories about that. Yeah. And I thankfully I can ride a horse. Like can Not ride a well, horse is different from like have ridden a horse. Yeah, because there's there's so many westerns and stuff, so people will be like. Oh, you guys need like, can you ride a horse? I'm like, yeah, I can ride a horse. I don't know if I believe that. Eh, but yeah, you know, I could do it. You know, I could do it. Well, you could do it, yeah. And, and How there you it would go. look is another story. Nah, but you, but you already said it. I could do it. Give me the job, Jake. <laughs> Not me in Western. Come on, Jake. Give me that money, Jake. <laughs> give me that money, Jake. How you want to go to jail or you want to go home? Your shoes are great. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this on video now. I know. No going back. <laughs> Um, we see how Will has comes uh, back throughout this whole film and he's really supportive of her. Is there another actor in the industry who's always had your back and fully guided you and helped you? Wow, that's a great question. Regina King. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis. Dwayne Johnson. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, great Dwayne Johnson. Hugh, uh, Hugh Jackman. Hmm. Yeah. 
most of the most of the people who have even uh, Jake, you know, uh, the people who I've worked with, uh, and they may not know it either. You know, hmm. that's the thing about it. They may not have given me specific advice, but I watch. I'm always like watching how the professionals, the people who've been around for a very long time, uh, um, are working. I do not take for granted uh, where I am, and, and you know, in six and a half years. You know what I mean? I'm sitting next to Jake, and, and you know guys of his caliber of talent, you know, who've been in, in, in the industry for a long time. Uh, and I'm, I'm always looking and, you know, picking up things. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much. It's such a joy to chat to and huge congrats on the film. I loved it. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you. Give me the money, Jake. It is. Hits Radio.